Welcome back to part four of the exploded view of the exacto knife. In this session, we're going to be drawing the blade, so let's get started. There's the collet from last time. I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, line tool. And ortho's turned on. This is a one fourth or one quarter inch line. Like that. And we're going to do a half inch line right here. On the top, we are going to do a 7 16 inch line. Notice that these are slightly shorter than each other. That's perfectly normal. Now, just take a second to look at this. There's an angle here. I created a system using what I call brackets to find the angle there. Because sometimes it's just faster this way. And for the level we're working at, I just find it works better. Especially with the age group that we're working with. So... Upon measuring, I discovered that this line comes forward, rather goes up one sixteenth of an inch, and then it goes forward or to the left one sixteenth. So let me go ahead and change the color of that just to distinguish the fact that this is merely a guideline. This is also what I call the bracket. So now if we go back to the line tool and we connect the third line, there you have your angle set up. So it works very much like a triangulation system. Let's go ahead and delete the bracket. Now we have our existing line. And upon measuring, I discovered that the same scenario works for the bottom. So if I come straight down and I move over to the left and again I'm talking about these two lines right here those are your brackets if we go ahead and connect the lines here What you find is the third line in the triangle is going to give you the angle that you need. All right, moving right along to the top here. You go ahead and draw a line of one and one. There we go. Down at the bottom, you've got a little flat line right here. 16. Now, to get this angle, turn off the ortho and merely connect the dots between the two. And there you have it. Now, over here is the sharp part. Not remembering what it's called. Maybe the burr, I believe. Let's go ahead and use the offset tool. Set our distance for a 116. And there you have it course we're going to need to trim that off right there. Let's try that again. Trim tool. Trim that off. Tucked underneath the trim tool is the extend tool. So if we activate this line, hit the space bar, float over here, we'll get a connection. So there's the sharp part or what I'm going to call the burr right now. Now we need to put the hole right over here. So if I get the circle tool, and I set D, enter. I'm going to get the diameter. Does it want to play? Circle. Oh, we have to specify a point. Click and drag. There we go. D, enter. And we'll put a diameter in of 1, 8. Now, let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to grab our base point from the left quadrant, drag it over to the right 
quadrant like that. And let's go ahead and draw a line on the top. And let's go ahead and draw a line on the bottom. Now if we switch over from extends to trim, and we can go ahead and trim out that centerpiece right there. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get the offset tool. And let's put a distance in of 1 8. Offset this line by 1 8, like that. Let's go ahead and get the move tool. Grab this whole piece right here. And make sure we grab it from the right side at the midpoint. Let's find the midpoint on this line, like that. And get rid of that guideline. It's only temporary. And there you have it. You've got yourself a nice view of the blade. All right. See you at the next session. Good day.